When your viewing window is blocked by the Teflon sleeve inside the canister because it's turned, I'm going to show you how to correct the viewing window in your Pro canister. What you'll need is a vise, a can of air, contact renew, and freezing spray. This is your best friend during this operation. A spanner wrench has a two inch opening and these are three thirty second pins. Household contact cement, you can pick it up at Home Depot or Lowe's. And a three thirty second Allen wrench. First thing we want to do is we want to remove the end of the spring lock assembly. Pick up your spanner wrench and using these two pins you're going to access these two holes. And you're going to loosen your canister. Take the bottom off of your canister and just pull out your spring. Don't touch anything else on here. Just pull that out put it to the side. Grab your freezing spray and you will freeze the inside of the canister. Reach in, pull your liner out. Grab your contact renew and wash the inside of that canister. Wash it really good too. Dumping out the excess. Then take a towel and really scrub it down in there. Wipe down the inside. Really get down in there good. And blow out the excess. Contact Renew will evaporate in there. Get it nice and dry. Pick up your liner Contact Renew, you're going to wash the liner down. See that grease coming off of there? That's why it turned. And then wipe that off. It gets all the grease and everything off of there. Then you want to take your contact cement. You want about a dime sized glob, like so. You want to put that glob with the scale facing up a half moon at the bottom only at the bottom don't go all the way around because the glue will get pushed down into the scale that's as far as you want to put it right there then grab your teflon sleeve with the scale facing up to match that scale put it in the end and it should slide in there gently now it might get stuck like that don't beat on it don't panic just grab your freezing spray and freeze it some more and she'll slide right in. Boom. Look at your scale, line it up to where it's nice and pretty in there. You want to let that warm back up to room temperature. You can reheat it back up with a hair dryer or something like that or just use your body heat if you want. Now that we've reinserted our Teflon and we made sure that we aligned the windows correctly, I can see in there, we're ready to put the spring assembly back in. Put it right in there, close it, thread on the cap. You're going to use your spanner wrench again. See these two holes? Dock them right there. Sometimes you might want to put it on your leg like that and just power it in there like so. Then you want to pick up your 3 32nd Allen wrench accessing these two screws right here. Just going to loosen it a little bit. About a quarter of a turn. You want to take the flat side of this draw bar. That's the one that you can see the bearing in, not the round side, and put that in the vise. And then just snug it up a little bit. Your canister might be looking like that or like this, or even this. It doesn't matter. See the scale? It needs to point to you. What you want to do is turn that scale so that it faces you. So I'm going to rotate that scale until it lines right up with my breastbone here. You want to rotate this until these two pins are horizontal to you. Once that's done, this is straight out horizontally and the scale is looking directly at me. Remove it from the vise. And you want to take your 3 32nd wrench and access these two screws. You want to just tighten them up. Don't over tighten them. And you are done.